Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. Now we are going to tackle the second visit to Battery Park and the NSF airfield, so let's get started. So, let's begin by checking out Castle Clinton. We can't really do much over there now. Let's talk to everyone we find. We sure appreciate the help tonight, Agent. We made a sweep of the area, no sign of the NSF. If you want eyewitnesses, I'd say check the subway or the shantytown. You'll be the first to know if we find anything. They got us on patrol until morning. All quiet up here. They got us on patrol until morning. I saw you earlier. You're the guy they sent into the subway station. You don't look augmented. From what I heard, when it's dangerous, they send in soldiers that are all mech. Like 90% metal. I don't see why they don't just use robots. Pretty soon it'll just be machines that fight wars. Pretty soon it'll just be machines that fight wars. As they indicated, everything happens in the shanty town and subway, so we'll go there last. If you want eyewitnesses, I'd say check the subway. We can get another sign vial here at the statue. Always nice. Later on, we're able to sell those things for lots of credits. They got us on patrol until morning. There's no danger in Battery Park anymore, that's good news. We've got the secret passage sealed up, sir. They call it a bolt hole. It's probably been part of the fort since it was built. Looks like the terrorists were using it to smuggle supplies. Don't worry, no one's getting past us. Tomorrow morning they're going to cement it shut. Tomorrow morning they're going to cement it shut. Tomorrow morning they're going to cement it shut. Let's see if there's anything in the water now. That's a no. We sure appreciate the help tonight, Agent. They got ambrosia. I know they have some barrels of ambrosia, but they said it's gotta be processed or it'll kill you faster than the Grey Death. I don't care. I try anything. I hope the NSF leaves some ambrosia in New York. Everyone says they're gonna ship it to China. I can't make it another day. I just want it to be over. I don't care. I try. I think all the entrances to the castle are sealed off. I don't think we can get in through the window either. This whole place just got shot up a few minutes ago. The United Nations invaded the city because of the NSF. I think most of the rebels got away. The NSF won't get caught because they know how to use the secret parts of the subway. My dad always said that someday the UN would have an army, would try to take over the United States. I thought he was cracked in the head. I think most of the rebels got away. Alright, just the UNATCO guys at the main entrance now, then we'll move on to the shanty town. I think we scared them off. Except for that one barrel of ambrosia, there's been no sign of the shipment. Don't tell Navara. We've let some of the bums back into the park. They don't have anywhere to go. <clears throat> Maybe check the shanty town. A lot of strange characters go through there. Nothing to report, Agent. You can assure Unatco that the area has been secured. 
An NYPD crime scene unit came by. They said they didn't find much. Not much happening. City's under curfew. <coughs> An NYPD crime scene unit came by. They said they didn't find much. Except for that one barrel okay. of ambrosia, there's been they no sign of the shantytown. A lot of strange characters go through there. Don't tell Navara. We've let some of the bums back in. All right, to the shantytown. Now there's some skill points to be had here, I know. I'm not sure if we can get both bonuses or not, but I'm gonna try. Hey, you a cop? The terrorist got away. They built a secret passage in the subway station. You didn't used to be able to get to Brooklyn Bridge Station from here. It's neat, but I wouldn't go down there now, even if I knew the code. They built a secret passage in the sub- We lost the battle today. I admit it, yes, Lord. You with the NSF? Had myself a division, mind you, back when we were the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Years ago. They thought they had us licked, like they think they have us licked tonight. But look at me, young sir. We're God's army, and what infernal devil can stop God's army? Well, you take care of yourself. Found me two 30 odd six clips. Now all I need's a gun, and then it's me and Satan. Yes, Satan. One last look into the devil's red eyes. Sounds like you served God admirably in the Northwest War. But maybe you should let a soldier from the younger generation take the clips off your hands. What do you want for him? Huh? You mean money? You want to buy him? Well, guess I'd take about 300 for each one. Nope. I'll check back with you later. Oh. Go away. Just... Contagious. I got no use for a handout. Every day, some new disease. I think it's government labs. Oh, thank you for talking to this old bag of bones. Most people, they look at you like you're already dead. Don't forget to wash your fruit. I think that's how I got it. Take care of yourself. That's enough. You're wearing me out. That's enough. And keeping out of the way, like they said. Uh, you don't have to push. I didn't have nothing to do with what went down tonight. The NSF got what they wanted. That's all I know. What? What? Yeah, I'd been in trouble with the law before. So what? When I'm in jail, it's usually because I fell asleep somewhere, like, like it's a crime to sleep. Doesn't seem to be too much to ask for. A piece of ground. You don't have to push. Alrighty. Time to start uh, checking buildings, although I'm not going to talk to that guy just yet because there are two ways to get the code. They both involve skill points, but I'm not sure if Oh, thank you again. My hands get so cold. Yeah, like I said, we'll probably both get kicked out when whoever it is gets back. I live underground. All the same. They're both worth skill points, but I don't know if you can get both skill bonuses or not. So I'm gonna play around with it to see if I can. Is this worthwhile? I don't know. I do have 20 lockpicks, so I don't have to worry too much, but it's a book. The PS20. Hell is murky, that's what Macbeth said. They came through today, bunch of the NSF boys, to set up a perimeter in the shantytown and took some folks hostage down in the station. One of them told me it was necessary, that the government made it necessary. We're slaves if we don't, I remember her saying. And I asked her if she thought those people down in the station felt any more free for being strapped to a bunch of dynamite. She just looked at me and walked away. M-O-L-E slash 6653. 
Kevin's dealing with them, says we don't risk anything by letting them use the tunnels, that we don't have no quarrel with anyone, but I wonder about hell and the roads paved to it. Curly. So that's one way to get the code. It's not worth a lockpick to me, though. But I can already get it for free because I rescued the guy in Hell's Kitchen who was being harassed at the basketball court. So let's, let's talk to Curly's friend first. Oh, thank you again, my... Plenty of room around the fire. Don't worry. We're allowed to be here. Cops have been pretty cool tonight. It's little things once in a while that make you feel not so much like a leper anymore. Plenty of room around the fire. Let's go down into the subway before we talk to Curly. <laughs> I don't think we can go to Hell's Kitchen. Nope. I don't think there's anything down here except for our old buddy Harley Philbin. Thanks again for the key. It wasn't a favor. I was well paid. A real patriot. I see it like this. It all balances out. Yanakko is just as much gun freaks as the militias. And if everybody's gonna shoot it out, fine. So long as neither side wins and takes over the whole country. The goal of UNATCO is not conquest. It's the safety of ordinary people like yourself. I know an army when I see one. Look, I'll be blunt. Got any cash? There's a secret passage behind that phone booth over there. For 500, I'll tell you where to get the code. I'm not interested. Oh. Okay. Well, I've got the money, so I suppose if I already... If I can already get the uh, password from Curly, he won't sell, or JC won't pay for the code. You get, I think, 55 skill points for buying it. Let's put another accuracy mod on my crossbow. Boost it to a nice 85%. Alright, well, I guess we need to talk to Curly then. Think it's true the vaccine they got? Think it'd really kill you? It's super concentrated. I heard the NSF talking. They're gonna process it, though. I hope so. I can't go much longer. I can think of safer places to camp. After all the fighting tonight. Eh, cops said I could be here. Besides, I ain't camping. I'm with the Mole People. Why the name Mole People? They call us that because we live underground. <laughs> like they're some kind of superior beings or something because they got more money than we do. Maybe you should join your people. Anywhere underground would be safer than Battery Park. The moles need someone topside. And besides, it's been pretty quiet. I'd rather be here than have the NSF tromping around with machine guns. The NSF are hiding out with the mole people? Yeah, they haven't hurt anybody. We guess it's all right. I need to contact the NSF. Think you could tell me how to find the moles? Sure. Just give me the password so I know they trust you. Underworld. Good. Long as they decided to give you access. Go to the phone booth in the subway station. The code's M-O-L-E. That's 6653. Thanks. Uh, when you get to the Brooklyn Bridge station, talk to Charlie. He'll get you into the tunnels where we live. What about the mole settlement? You taking new people? So we got two notes. 6653, code to the phone booth entrance to mole people hideout. Talk to Charlie in the Brooklyn Bridge station for information about the mole people. Our secondary goal is also talk to Charlie in the Brooklyn Bridge station for information on the mole people. That was worth 175 skill points. Well, uh, it's not the best time. Not right now. I don't mind. I'd sleep in the dirt, whatever. The thing is, they got this policy. Uh, no one with the Grey Death can go past Brooklyn Bridge Station. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, miss, really. No need. No, I understand. Charlie's the lieutenant mayor. He takes care of infrastructure. I like Charlie. He's always been straight with me. Now, we live in the tunnels west of Brooklyn Bridge Station. New note. Old people tunnels west of Brooklyn Bridge Station. It's not a bad place. Lots of good people down here. Now, we have our own government, elections, a real democracy. 
democracies for small towns. That's how it developed uh, back in Athens. We're modeled on the Greeks with no outside influences. When there's millions of people in a country, no one has any say about anything. Big countries always turn into dictatorships. Then they fall apart under their own weight. Thought you were in a hurry to track down the NSF. Thought you were in a hurry to track down the NSF. All right, let me make sure I haven't missed anything up here. Let's just turn the light on. It doesn't need too much energy by itself. That's the one with the code inside it. So if you hadn't rescued the bum in Hell's Kitchen, you would have to either pay Harley Philbin or expend the lockpick to get the code out of that book. Or alternatively, you could just memorize the code and come back, but I'm leery of anything that smelled smacks of cheating. We think they're loading the Ambrosia onto a plane. You heard anything about that? Nothing I could put a price on. Yanako already thinks it's Juan Lebedev. Lebedev? I don't know who else it could be. He owns a whole terminal at LaGuardia. Mandalay's been trying to bump him off for years. Since when is LaGuardia for sale? City had some debts a few years back. There's always a buyer. But Lebedev's small time. He can't buy off the big politicians like a Bob Page. Who does he buy off? People lower down, but useful. Some of your buddies at Yanako, actually. Who? <laughs> you can't afford that one. How about that phone code? I already got the code to the phone booth, but thanks. Juan Lebedev, a wealthy ally of the NSF, owns a terminal at LaGuardia, possible location of Ambrosia. Change your mind. I already got the code to the phone booth, but thanks. I think that's Change it. Change your mind. I wonder if he'll say something else after what well. You can also just bypass the keypad, but let's just enter the code 6653. Out, around, and down. Kind of fun that was. So down the secret passage we'll get a map change. New York City Brooklyn Bridge Station. Brooklyn Bridge Station is pretty safe, too. No real danger yet. After the quakes, the homeless drifted down here. Junkies, runaways, grifters. There's a DSS file a mile long on this place. Some of them, the so-called mole people, have permanent living quarters in an adjacent tunnel system not on my map. <gasps> Alright, let's explore the station. We know that the mole tunnels are to the west, so... Let's explore the ground level first. Newspaper. Midnight sun. Black helicopters are concerned, says Senator. As sightings of ominous black helicopters become increasingly common across the country, from Manhattan to the SoCal shores, many citizens have grown concerned that these gunships are actually a sign that troops may be preparing to mobilize for some unknown action. Certainly this concerns me, said Senator Harry Jarvis, Democrat, Texas, a member of the Armed Services Committee. I intend to bring this up in our next committee meeting and ask some hard questions. UNATCO Director Joseph Manderley was more skeptical. If black helicopters were really being used for covert operations, then those responsible are doing a poor job of it. Manderley went on to say that UNATCO employed no such aircraft and declined to pursue the matter any further, claiming that it detracted from the serious nature of our mission. Joe Green, senior staff writer. Let's talk to this fellow. What you need, bro? Visor 250. Know where I can find the mole people? Good neighbors keep each other's business private. You want to set a price? I'm a good neighbor. You want to buy something or not? Uh, if you do this, he'll attack you, so I'll just go maybe later. Maybe later. Oh, uh, let's... let's talk to this guy. <laughs> hey man, you got any Zyme? Take a vial. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. 
Now maybe you can calm down for a second and tell me how to get to the mole people hideout. Yeah, sure. They're in the tunnels. And? The keypad's under the sink, in the woman's bathroom. Everybody knows that. The code? Got me. The mole people keep me out because they don't like Zyme. Hey, thanks, dude. Ah. Oh. Who needs rock, huh? Not me. He could just die. Take his 50 cut Zyme and blow. Under the sink, man. Look under the sink. Under the sink, man. Look under the sink. See, I don't think there's anything left on this end, so let's move up here. Hi, honey. Let's talk to this hooker. I don't handle the money. Talk to Charlie. You want Zyme? Talk to the guy in the corner. His name's Rock. You deaf? I said I don't handle the money. Beat it. You deaf? I said I don't handle the money. Okay, nope, haven't missed anything so far. Let's head up to this north end now. We'll talk to him last, that's Charlie. Let's talk to this gal. The doctors in that clinic? They ain't worth five credits. Nurse knew I was sick. She just don't care. I've got the plague. That's why I look like this. They should be giving me disability. It's my right. Government lets people get poor, and they wonder why someone jacks their Mercedes. The doctors in that clinic? There. I'm looking for the mole people. You don't want to camp with them. Trust me, they're too political. I don't need a place to camp. I started the mole people. I was there first. And then they made up committees that throw people out just because they don't like the way you look. How do I find them? Don't bother. They're elitist. And now the NSF is down there too. It's things down there anyway. I'm a classic example of the individualist. I do better on my own. The only thing about staying up here is the rooks. One time I was drunk and fell asleep and they put me on the train tracks. Good thing the five is shut down. I'm a classic example of the individualist. Let's do the men's room. You have a problem? Get out! I got a bomb! A bomb's a bad choice for close-range combat. Might as well use it. Rock says I owe him. He won't even give me one vial for it. What kind of bomb? I think they said it was called a lamb. Suppose I could part with a vial of Zyme if you'll give me the lamb. Y you got some? Really? Yeah. Let's see the lamb. Take it, man. Whatever. Where's the Zyme? Hope it lasts. That gave me a hundred skill points. <sighs> Where am I at now? 990. I'm doing okay on uh, picks and multi-tools for now. I may want to raise pistol next. Better. Much better. I was feeling pretty bad. I was feeling pretty bad. Newspaper. Uh, another copy of the Black Helicopter Midnight Sun. Oh, there's a kid in here. Leave me alone! The rule is you're supposed to use the secret passage and leave us alone! Man, it stinks in here! The rule is you're supposed to use the secret passage and leave us alone! Alright. Better. Much better. Let's check out the women's room now. Nurse knew I was sick. She just don't care. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. The secret passage is back here, if I remember right. There's the keypad, but we still don't know the code. I've got the plague. Let's go upstairs and talk to the rooks next. There's other st there's other plenty of other stuff going on up here too, but these are all rooks. 
Hold up, bro. What is it? You on Rook's territory now. Just so you know. You call yourselves Rooks? That's right. Up here, it's business. You want to do business? Talk to Will Ray. I'll keep that in mind. Just take it easy, bro. Be cool. No one up here is looking for a fight. El Rey runs the show. We're gonna be special forces for the NSF if they give us some chits. You can stick around, long as you have legitimate business. All this, as far as you can see, is Rook's territory. Just take it easy, bro. Be cool. We're gonna be special forces for the NSF if All they this, give us some chits. As far as you can see, I don't think there's anything back here anyway, but... Oh, we can make the jump. Let's make sure. There is a multi-tool. Perfect. Let's head over here now. <clears throat> All this is far as you... Let's talk to these two. Get another multi-tool on the top of this payphone. All this is for What's up? Back off. You have business talk to El Rey. Hey, cut it out! No one up here is looking for- Homely ass, Mark. Get your ass away from me! Who sent you, Jojo? You tell that punk we're laying for him. No one up here is looking for- We're gonna expand our operation. I send back off. I send back off. All right. I saw another guy walking over here. I'm telling where he got to. Guess it doesn't matter much. You want to talk to El Rey? That's cool. The Rooks. We hang mostly underground, but we about to spread out. Next, we're gonna move on rock. You wanna run with us? Bet El Rey'd say okay. You wanna run with us? Bet El Rey'd say okay. Make it all the way down here? No. I could have sworn I saw another guy walking around. Must be him. All this, as far as you can see, is Rook's territory. Before we do anything else, I want to, there's an ATM here. I'd like to try the uh, account numbers and codes I haven't been able to use yet. So, uh, three one two four four six thirteen fifty one. Nothing. That's the one I got from Smuggler's Computer in the French email. And the other one, I think, is um. Five four three six five four five five four four. Nothing. Maybe I'll be able to do it when I'm back at Hell's Kitchen. That's the hope, anyway. Hacking it gets us fifty credits. All right, let's talk to everyone else up here. I said all this as far as you can see there's a is gas Rook's grenade territory. in this booth always handy you ain't all that think you're bad strutting around Rook's turf you better keep yourself in line you come in Rook's territory you show respect you come in Rook's territory you show respect hey bro what's with the get up I'm from out of town I hear the NSF are operating around here somewhere. Know anything about it? I guess I've seen them, but that's it. You a militia type? I can hook you up with some explosives. Serious stuff, man. How much? Whoa, 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 whoa. We ain't talking firecrackers, understand? What I got, it comes from a guy at UNATCO. Hardcore munitions and shit. How much? I got a lamb. You know what that is? 750. Pretty steep for secondhand goods. Either that or you work for it. You in the fighting? I need someone to take care of the dealer downstairs. 
I'll take out the drug dealer. Dealer's name's Rock. He hangs out on the east side in the corner. We got a secondary goal to kill the drug dealer in the Brooklyn Bridge station for the Rooks, then inform El Ray. I'm not gonna kill him, I'm just gonna knock him out. Two Zine vials, pistol ammo, a knife, and some cigarettes. <laughs> now there's one thing I'm worried about. Got rid of the dealer downstairs. Knocked him unconscious, flat on his back. Unconscious? You deaf? I said I won't harm what dead. You gonna survive on the street, bro, you gotta have some sense. Like what I tell my crew. No mercy. When it's you and the enemy, no mercy. I used as much force as the situation required. You trying to lecture me on tactics? Take it easy, we work it out. I get one of my boys to finish the hit. Good enough? That guy? He's been in my way for months. Now I got the whole station. You can have the lamp. Now I can afford me a Gep gun. You don't want to be nowhere near one of those things when it goes off. Downstairs, I'm gonna start my own operation. Tell Charlie I don't want him advertising that I got hot merchandise, right? Tell Charlie I don't want him advertising that I got hot merchandise. Now I'm gonna go peek at the drug dealer, make sure he's not dead. Then I'll hide the body somewhere, if he's still unconscious, just, you know, help make sure he stays alive. Unconscious, good. He should be alright in Battery Park. <laughs> the game doesn't acknowledge any of this, of course, but I like to use my imagination. Now let's talk to Charlie. I hear the NSF are using the Mole People hideout as a base. Are you the feds? We don't need a war down here. I work for you, Natco. Well, the NSF come through here, but they don't bother us. If we need help with anything, it's our plumbing. We lost pressure because of the explosions on South Street. Tough break. You tell me about the NSF, and I'll put in a word with the city about the water. The city don't know we got water, and they don't need to know. How about you fix it, and then I'll talk. I don't have much time. I would open the valve myself, but there was a cave-in. Utility door's blocked. It's up at the north end of the tracks, in case you want to take a look. Clearing a tunnel. That would require explosives. It could be done. A lamb would do the trick. It's just that I'm not gonna be the one to talk to the rooks. They'd probably sell us one, but they don't like people going into their turf, which is the whole upper level. So our new secondary goal is open a fresh water supply for the homeless in Brooklyn Bridge Station. The valve is in a utility room at the north end of the train tracks that has been blocked by a cave-in. Clear the cave-in with lambs, find the valve, turn on the water, and report back to Charlie Fan. The rooks might have lambs. All pretty straightforward. So, behind this door you can see where the cave-in was. 
Let's just get out our lamb and use it. And we're through. Excellent. Now we need to avoid the steam. It can hurt us a lot. So just go up this pipe. Crouch to get through this one. You will have to use one lockpick. But it beats taking damage. One of those, I think you have to hit both valves. 100 skill points awarded. Accomplishment bonus. I'm up to 1,090. Good. So with that done... Let's go back and talk to Charlie. The water line should be open now. Good. Glad to see you Unetco boys do something for the community. Now, can you tell me about the NSF? The NSF? Yeah. They took over our tunnels. How do I get there? Go to the women's restroom on the other side of the station. Look for a keypad under the sink. Combinations 5482. Great. I'm glad I can help you out. That gave us uh, 25 more skill points. Notes. Keypad under sink in women's restroom in the Brooklyn Bridge Station 5482. Excellent. <clears throat> That's it for here. The doctors in that clinic, they were five credits. So we'll head through the secret passage. That gives us a hundred more skill points. And we are now back in quasi-hostile territory. The NSF in here are hostile to us. Everyone else isn't. But there are NSF we need to watch out for. I'll just knock him out. <laughs> When you find the commander, he just yields, and that makes everyone else unhostile, but, you know, I still like to search everybody, so I don't want any of this. I'm gonna go this way first. The commander's down that way. Panel secured. Good. Movie traps? Installed. They really think you'll make it this far? Paul said not to take any chances. Well, I guess he would know. Paul? What? Huh? Take him out. Alright. Pretty simple matter to take him out. Oh. Well, that didn't quite go according to plan, but everything worked out fine. Just a knife. Sawed off shotgun and tranquilizer darts. Are there any more guys back here? Need the door key. Oh, 
I can't carry any more multi-tools. How about that? All right. Well, now I'm drowning in crossbow ammo. Or before I was loaded with prod chargers. If I can get them one at a time, I should probably use my baton. With low tech at advanced, I should be. I think we've got an intruder. Pretty easily able to take down guys. As long as they're unaware. Stay crouched, JC. Take him out. What? like to know who's ringing the alarm. I know I heard something. That's him. He's a cop. Alright. I have to admit I'm a little confused about what's happening in here, but... Maybe I need to drop this terrorist back here first. I think he's the one ringing the alarm somewhere. Well, it was one of these two. Thermoptic camo. Always good to have. Soda and knife, not so much. I think I should be able to talk to these people now. You with the police? They just moved a bunch of barrels through here. You still have time to catch them. They think because they had guns we're afraid, but we're not. We've been waiting for the right chance to run these jerks out of town. We've been waiting for the right chance to run these jerks out of town. You with the police? Looks like you've been overrun by NSF. They move supplies through here. There's nothing we can do about it. Anything recently? A bunch of barrels came through about an hour ago. Woke us all up. Where were they headed? They went through the bathroom like they always do. Only way to get a key is from the NSF commander. The guy who lives to the south. But I bet he'd die first. Some of the terrorists actually live down here? It's a secret room. You open the door by pushing a brick, they keep hidden behind some cardboard boxes. I'll have a talk with him. You won't have to worry about the NSF for much longer. That gave me 25 skill points and two notes. 
The local NSF commander has the key to a locked bathroom at the north end of the tunnel. The NSF have been shipping barrels through that bathroom. Terrorist commander in a secret room at the south end of the Mole People hideout, open by pressing down on a special brick. The terrorist leader's command post is on this side of the tunnel to the south. If you're looking for the airfield, you're going to want to go to the north end of the chamber. They've built a secret passageway in the men's bathroom. I didn't want to fight, but I guess it turned out for the best. You'd think the revolutionaries would have more respect for the people they're trying to fight for. I'm not against the NSF, but we got families down here. This isn't a barracks. If you're looking for the airfield, you're going to want to go to the... Couple of kids down here. Another old guy. You're the spy, huh? The metal guys knew you were coming. They have a plan. They're gonna kill you. They turned on hot steam in one tunnel and put laser traps in the other. The guards at the helicopter base are supposed to shoot you when you show up. You better go back. They turned on hot steam in one tunnel. You better go back. laser traps in the other. You from the feds? We don't need any help. Hell, the NSF don't hurt anybody. This is our place. We can do what we want. The city condemned this part of the subway. This is free territory. The NSF have every right to stand up to the government. Somebody's gotta doesn't seem like much to ask from the city of New York. A damn hole in the ground. Hell, the NSF don't hurt anybody. Alright. I saw one other kid over in the center section. See, there are more NSF if we go further south. I know a secret. Uh -oh. Yeah. I give up. He does something with the brick behind those cardboard... What box? This Damn it, I knew it. Looks like you've been up. Shit. The terrorist leader's command post is on this side of the tunnel to the south. You with the police? They just. If you're looking for the year. They think because they. I didn't want to fight. We've been waiting for the. You'd think the revolution. They think because they. I'm not against the NSF. I know a secret. Yeah? It's about the NSF commander. You know how he gets in the secret room? I give up. He does something with the brick behind those cardboard boxes. It's true. I saw it. What boxes? The south end, where the room is. Where else? Another th new note. The terrorist commander of the mole area has a secret room at the south end of the tunnel. He enters by doing something with a brick behind some cardboard boxes. I know lots of secrets. They think because they have gu My dad says you can't get anywhere if you can't keep a secret. We've been waiting for the right chance to run these when I go out of town. I'm gonna be rich, because I'm gonna know everything. My dad says you can't get anywhere if you can't keep a secret. You're the spy, huh? You from the feds? We don't need any help. Little guys knew you were coming. Hell, the NSF don't hurt anybody. They have a plan. They're gonna kill you. This is our place. We can do what we want. They turned on hot steam in one time. The city condemned this part of the subway. The guards of the helicopter base are supposed to The NSF to have every up. right to stand up to the government. You better go Somebody's back. Got it. Doesn't seem like much to ask from the city of New York. The metal guys knew you were coming. The NSF have every right okay. to stand up. Okay. Now we've talked to everybody. Hopefully we've accomplished it without inadvertently getting spotted. JC's habit of standing up when he starts a conversation is dangerous sometimes. Alright, I want to trank this guy if I can. Because I'm running low on charger ammo, but I have plenty of trank darts. He rang the alarm, but I can't even hear it over here, so I'm not too worried. 
I have nothing left on this platform. Let's go check out Kevin's little hole in the wall. Nothing there besides Kevin. Oh, here comes trouble. I hadn't talked to this guy yet. He ran from all the way down there. He won't talk till he settles down. Doesn't seem like much to ask from the city of New York. A damn hole in the ground. We've been waiting for the right chance to run these jerks out of town. There, finally. Hell, the NSF don't hurt anybody. And he's got the same voice set as <laughs> the other one. I'm still not gonna save on the off chance that I accidentally tranked the NSF commander. I don't think I did. I I think he stays in his room, even if the alarm does go off, but I need to be sure. Knife and a lockpick and an EMP grenade. That's some actually useful stuff. Yeah, the secret door is still closed. Nothing down here. There's a, there's a terrorist. I thought I saw someone. A guy in a coat. Nothing. I guess we're safe. I don't see myself getting behind this guy. Something moved. Could be the law. I guess it's nothing. <laughs> Another knife. Looks like they're eating cat. That's kind of gross. Never been a cat person myself, but I still wouldn't need it. So this crate has a lockpick that I actually can't carry. There's the brick to get to the terrorist commander. I'm assuming he's still in there and everything's fine. But I uh, still need to talk to that skinny guy that ran away. He's all the way down here, looks like. Take it easy, I'm on your side. They made me do work for them. I used to handle records at a shipyard, so they had me break into the inventory systems. I was able to locate shipments of Ambrosia. I guess it's not so bad if they managed to help some of the sick people. If you're looking for the leader, he's in a secret room next to the storage area beside us. I tried to get away this morning, but I got caught. Man, they shot my cat. Like I said, I was just a prisoner. They didn't tell me much. Like I said, I was just a prisoner. Alright, let's head into the secret room now. I think the leader is still there, but... Let's hope so, anyway. Yeah, there he is. And he's not hostile. Good. 100 skill points just for getting into the secret room. 
If we talk to him instead of killing him, we'll get another hundred, but let's get the key to the restroom and a pepper cartridge. I surrender. The mole people say the Ambrosia came through here an hour ago. I'll cooperate. Relax. The key to the men's restroom is on the table. This better not be a joke. Hey, I'm just an accountant. I know the body armor looks threatening, but I'm part-time, like a reservist. I don't want any trouble. Get another hundred skill points for talking to him. I don't think there's anything else in here, so let's just keep talking to him. The key's on the corner of the table. I never wanted to see action. I know when to stand down. I know when to stand down. One thing I just realized looking in here, I never read the flavor for a scramble grenade. Weapon stats, ammo type NA, base damage 0, clip size, rate of fire, reload time, all NA, recoil 0, 0.0, base accuracy 50%, accurate range NA, maximum range NA, mass 5 pounds, laser sight, scope, silence are all NA, skill, weapons, demolition. The detonation of a guardian scramble grenade broadcasts a short range polymorphic broadband assault on the command frequencies used by almost bo all bots manufactured since 2028. The ensuing electronic storm causes bots within its radius of effect to indiscriminately <clears throat> to indiscriminately attack other bots until command control can be reestablished. Like a lamb, scramble grenades can be attached to any surface. See what my skill point total is. 1440. So somewhere around here, if I find exactly where yeah back here you see an armed lamb and a bioelectric cell I want to get under here and get it all I get a very odd number I get 38 skill points for exploring back here but I got a bioelectric cell a lamb an EMP grenade a med kit and some flares that hundred skill point progress bonus is the game thinks I'm inside the tunnel to proceed to the Hella base. That's what that was. So with that in hand, let's move through here to another map change. New York City unknown location. Well, let's keep in mind everything the kids said. There will be some hazards down here. These sewage tunnels look like they come out somewhere by the airfield. Be careful, though. The terrorists probably expect intruders. There's another EMP grenade in this pipe to the side. You can see the hot steam in the tunnels over there. We can shut it off if we pick this lock open and actually might as well do it. Just because I can run back to the mole tunnels real quick and grab the lock pick I left since I was maxed out. If I can just remember exactly where it is. I think it was down in the down by the commander's room, wasn't it? Mike, you can answer me while I'm recording the video. But once you once you hit 20 and you can't carry anymore, that's when I begin to feel more comfortable burning picks and multi tools to open up pathways. Was it in his quarters? No. Right here. There we go. Alright, onward to the Hella base. I'm at 20 lockpicks and 20 multi-tools, which is a good place to be. That's 
I think I mentioned this already, but that's why I've dropped the priority of raising lock picking and electronics. Raise my weapon skills first, so my baton is more reliable. Because I'm really starting to run low on prod ammo again. All right, through here. So we can just hop up here. I think the kid said the other tunnel had laser trip wires, right? Doesn't matter, once we get here, we can't go back. stay behind this terrorist. Let's just get him with the baton if we can. Ooh. Beautiful. Sewer door added to nano keyring, and we got a combat knife as well. Well, let's open the door. Remember right, I think I can just blow this TNT crate and destroy the laser trip wires. I got way more pistol ammo than anything else. Yeah, that was nice and easy. Take a swim down there. That tunnel lets out right there. I think for now I just wanna... Those grates fall, you can only go over them once. But it doesn't matter, we're through. <clears throat> EMP grenades don't flash like lambs do. So, let's get this bad boy off the wall. We've got a lot of EMP grenades. I think I have eight, so... No problem taking these robots out with them. This manhole just leads down to the long tunnel we could have swum through, swam through. I don't think there's actually any goodies down here. No. Huh. Alright. Now because our demolition skill is so low, we're gonna have to get a pretty precise placement on these EMP grenades. to disable the bots, but that worked. It's one down and one to go. Let's bag the other one now. He's coming this way, so that ought to be good. Nope. It was close. I just needed to you can see the sparks falling off of him, which meant, you know, that's like how robots look when they get damaged. That'll do it. Disabled. Perfect. Put those guys down. I think, yeah, you can, you can just sneak around them, but... I don't know, when I am taking things out, my 
completionist instincts demand I take everything out. I have no qualms with just blowing up robots either, but I have no other use for the um, EMP grenades. So in here, there's another lockpick. Let's keep that in mind. You get 50 skill points for getting this far. Down here is a multi-tool, also need to keep in mind, and a data cube. Young, if you or Decker need to access my account, the login is etod and the password is St. Mary. Be careful and I'll find you after this is all over, Aaron. You're entering a helibase terminal below a private section of LaGuardia. Veer to the east. You should be able to take the elevator to ground level. If you hit trouble, double back across the platform. There's a sewer drain to the northwest which leads to a pond next to the airfield. We think we might know who's moving the shipment. More in a minute. Note, helibase exits, an elevator to the east or a sewer drain to the northwest. Alright. All good to know. Terrorist standing there, let's just trank him. guy. He can't hide for long. Let's drink this one, too. That's him. He's a cop. God damn. Take him out. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. I think that's everybody. Looks like you're on the right track. That's one of the three missing barrels of Ambrosia. We'll be sending a team to recover it. See if you find the other two. Alright, so we got a hundred skill points for finding that first, uh, barrel. Our secondary goal is you locate the three missing barrels of Ambrosia. Unatco will send a team to recover them. I dropped four terrorists. Here's another one. <laughs> Airfield security room added to nano key ring. Not bad. The camera's still facing me and still alarmed at my presence. Alright, let's get this guy. Let the camera turn away. Get this guy. I think I can actually trick the camera by crouching here. I can. That's good. I want to move this body away as well. There's the Ambrosia barrel right there in the center of this room. And I'd like to hit those two crates. It's all just assault rifle ammo.
We actually want to go to this side of the Hella Base first. So, let's look in these offices. We got a newspaper. That's another copy of the Black Helicopter's Midnight Sun. There's some pistol ammo. And a computer. Let's try E. Todd St. Mary. From J. Hurst, subject out sick. I'm not feeling so well, so I think I'm going to take tomorrow off, but you and I are having a rematch on that pool game when I get back. Johnny. From Pub Terminal 12, subject, quick note. Killian showed up with this canister they managed to swipe from Liberty along with the Ambrosia. Handed it off to me like I'd know what to do with it. I'll load it onto the plane, but then I need to get down to the dock and see what the hell's going on down there. Juan's not around, so do me a favor and let him know that the suspension crate code for this stuff is 9905. Maybe he'll know what to do with it. These other monkeys can't remember their birthdays, much less a code. And tell Younger to get his ass in gear. We're not screwing around out here. Decker. So, since the emails don't go into my notes, I'll just add it. 9905 suspension crate. Very good. Let's move on. Another office on the ground level is my first stop. See, lockpick, a bioelectric cell, that's all good. Can't get into that computer, so let's hack it. No email today. All right, let's go upstairs. I do have the key to this room. It just takes me up to an upper level above the helipad. I'll do that in just a minute. What you're doubtless hearing is someone walking around the security room up here. I don't know if this person moves or not. Maybe they don't. Let's track them. Take him out! Stay cool. He's still around. The guy who heard all that, I think, is up there. Chance he's out here, though. I'd better check. Okay, they're out there. That's fine. Let's check this room out first. Let's try E. Todd St. Mary. I doubt it works, but we'll see. Nope. Let's turn off the cameras. Data cube here. Aaron, the Ambrosia's been delivered and the first barrel is being offloaded onto the helicopter. The other barrels are heading out by boat and plane so we can hopefully get at least one sample away for analysis. If you can, rendezvous with us at one of the departure points, otherwise you know where to meet if something goes wrong. You've done a lot for the cause and should be proud of yourself. Now play it safe and get gone. JL. Finally, hit a button behind the plant. That'll open the bookcase. You get 75 skill points for coming in here, which brings me to 1803. And here you can find a knife, a pistol, crossbow darts, another AUG upgrade canister. Here's a range mod. Weapon modification, range. By lubricating the firing path with, synth with synthetic synovial fluid, the drag on fired projectiles is greatly reduced with a consequent incre increase in range. Unatco Ops File Note SC111-Blue 
Coating the primary valve system of a flamethrower or plasma gun in synovial lubricant and then overpressuring the delivery system will also result in an increase in range. Little trick I learned during field testing. Sam Carter, end note. Drag over weapon to upgrade. Weapons highlighted in green can be upgraded with this mod. Let's put it on our trank dart, of course. That was weird. I knew I had more Zyme, though. So my range is now, uh... My accurate range is up to 55 feet instead of 50 feet, so that's good. Buckshot, prod charger, lamb, lol. So before we head out to the helipad, let's go to the other side of the helibase. There's more to find in here. I don't think there's anything inside this bathroom. Let's check the other one. I don't actually believe there's anything in here either. But it always pays to check. In here, there's a bioelectric cell, there's an ATM, let's try my account numbers, see if they work. I remembered um, the one from the data cube, the one from smuggler's email, 312-446-1351. Nothing. Alright, let's hack it. Let's just hack it. 375, that's good. Now let's, there's lots to read in here, so let's do that next. Three books. The Man Who Was Thursday by G.K. Chesterton. Good book if you haven't read it in real life. Syme had never thought of asking whether the monstrous man who almost filled and broke the balcony was the great president of whom the others stood in awe. He knew it was so with an unaccountable but instantaneous certainty. Syme, indeed, was one of those men who are open to all the more nameless psychological influences in a degree a little dangerous to mental health. Utterly devoid of fear and physical dangers, he was a great deal too sensitive to the smell of spiritual evil. Twice already that night, little unmeaning things had peeped out at him almost pruriently and given him a sense of drawing nearer and nearer to the headquarters of Hell, and this sense became overpowering as he drew nearer to the Great President. Second book, Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond, Chapter 15. Waiting was always the hardest part, in the stir and in life. Guys who couldn't handle it either ended up rocking back and forth in a dark corner or babbling incoherently, always the same. Jacob would have been the one rocking in the corner. He did solitary the first time after a fight, someone thinking he was an easy mark, 48 hours and he didn't and he started screaming and didn't stop until his larynx was raw and his voice cracked. It was a month before he could talk again. One of the lifers saw Jacob wasn't as fence post dumb as the rest of the population and took to schooling him in chess. Jacob never got much respect from the old timer, but he got his sanity. He'd play chess, checkers, backgammon, any game there was. He got into another fight when one pendejo who was looking to make a name for himself flipped over Jacob's game board said impolite things about people in their little kitty games. Jacob cracked one of his ribs and amused himself for a week in solitary, playing Kasparov and Bobby Fischer in his head. The third book, Art of War by Sun Tzu. It's another copy of the one from Manderley's office. This newspaper, McMorrin slings Chinese ore, APR Beijing, China. With the announcement by the Chinese last week that the Zhou Enlai Lunar Mining Complex was fully operational, today McMoran Global Steel had a, held a press conference to detail the first delivery of lunar ore from the facility to Earth by a mass driver constructed by McMoran. The McMoran MD-118 mass driver is the first piece of accelerated stock to be constructed on such a scale, and certainly the first to operate extraterrestrially, said Sean Murphy. The selection of McMoran for this contract by the Chinese government is a major step towards closer economic ties between China and the U.S. McMoran won the contract in a heated bidding war with Page Industries that reached its most fevered pitch when Page attempted an unsuccessful hostile takeover of McMoran. Okay, I think that's all the reading material. 
So in this room, we can just use the pinball machine. And that opens a secret door back here. We get another 50 skill points for coming in here. There's ballistic armor, another lock pick, and a med kit. Now here is another gate to the helipad, but I need to take out that guy on the upper level first. He's got a sniper rifle, which is bad news for us. So let's head up here, open it up, let's just get behind the guy with our baton and get him. I know what oh. I guess I needed him to stop. He's not the sniper though, the sniper's another step above. There we go. Oh, but the sniper spotted me. Let's get the sniper first, and then this dude on the lower level. The sniper's all the way at the other end, and he's facing me. Or he will be, so I may need to just shoot him. I don't know if he moves or not, though. If he just stays there, maybe I can just sneak up on him. I've dropped uh, lockpicking and electronics in importance. I can't quite make up my mind whether I want to raise pistol to advance or low tech to master first. I think I may, uh, it may be more important to me to get low tech to master. So I can really reliably drop people with my baton. All right, with the sniper gone, we can breathe a lot easier. Even though he stops right there by the skylight. Very handy. Just a knife. Don't think there's anything up the other balcony. Nobody left up here, so we can head out to the helipad next. possible through either door. There's still some guards on the little sub-level below the helipad. I need to be careful of them. I know I heard something. Fascist. <laughs> I knew I was in trouble. As soon as the drop made noise. This is where you end up if you take the main little wooden door out of that first room. Well, let me let me take down the terrorists down here. There are, I think I see Five, at least. This place is pretty crowded. Ooh, I got this one. Ah! 
I need to convince JC to get him in the head, but that's not that easy to do. Unless he stops, but I'm not sure this guy ever does. There we go. I can get him crouched. That's good. He's just got a knife. Let's move the body over here. Drop that knife. Oops. Good, no one heard it. Let's get the other patroller. I think his route is identical to the other guys. I need to get that one hit drop on him. Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. get the drop on him if I just come through here. There we go. He's got a knife, same as his buddy. Over here, standing still, we have yet another terrorist. Here is the sewer entrance. That's a pretty long swim, which I don't think I can make with swimming untrained. I still haven't found a rebreather. Maybe I should have taken off along after all. We can leave him where he is. We got some napalm and a knife. That's fun. Oh, I've, I don't think I've read this either. An augmentation upgrade canister contains highly specific nanomechanisms that, when combined with a previously programmed module, can increase the efficiency of an installed augmentation. Because no programming is required, upgrade canisters may be used by trained agents in the field with minimal risk. Must be used on augmentation screen. With two of them, I think tranquilizer is going to be my best bet. Hit them both. Just have to wait for the tranquilizer to kick in. Very good. That one has a sawed off shotgun and a knife. Wahoo. This one I think just had the usual pistol and knife. Yes, he did. Now, I personally prefer the elevator. Just because it's so much easier than the sewer. They both get you to basically the same place, though. That brings us to a map change. We're at Lebedev's airfield now. This is the terminal at LaGuardia owned by Juan Ivanovich Lebedev. We're certain based on what you've discovered that he's working with terrorists. Your orders are to locate and kill him. We're sending you a map of the airfield. So let's look at our, our primary goal is now assassinate Juan Ivanovich Lebedev. And we got an image. So the elevator is here. We're at this helipad. There's a military robot. There's the airplane hangar, another bot, another bot, the barracks, and the boathouse. If you take the sewer entrance, you come out over by the boathouse. We got 100 skill points for reaching the airfield. That's always nice. I'm gonna take out this bot. I think I'll just blow it up to 
get rid of this law in my inventory. Might be tough though. These the law doesn't track like a gep gun does, but should turn any second. It's not. All right. That was stupid. This is the terminal at LaGuardia owned by Juan Ivanovich Lebedev. We're certain based on what you've discovered that he's working with terrorists. Your orders are to locate and kill him. We're sending you a map of the airfield. There's my airfield map. I'm up to 1953 skill points. That's handy. There we go. That's what I wanted. I do want to get into these watchtowers. There are goodies up in them. It's even possible to make the approach without getting spotted, I think. There is a key to these somewhere, but I'll just pick it open. <laughs> can go back to the hella base through the elevator and get some of those lock picks I left. So in here we've got a recoil mod, which I guess I'll just put in the pistol. I've got nothing else to do with it. Binoculars and uh, pistol ammo. Let's hack this bad boy. Turn these cameras off. exit that much easier and I can check check things out over here need another lock pick for this I wonder I don't think I can destroy these no oh, oh god my bioelectric energy drains as long as I'm in there. But I can go resupply, so uh, let's uh, uh, bypass this business. There we go. Tech goggles. An EMP grenade. And a clip mod. The EMP grenade is worth it. So, last thing before I head back down to resupply, another watchtower. I think there are four of them. There's our GEP gun. That we'll want to hold on to. Because it's pretty easy to use even with uh, even with heavy weapons untrained. And we can blow things up with it. It's also a gas grenade, so it's definitely worth coming into this tower. Let's shut those cameras off. I'm actually going to hotkey the GEP gun. I'm going to put it... Well, no, I'm not going to hotkey it. But... 
we do move very slowly if we take it out, so be mindful of that. I'm just going to wait until I spot those robots. Blow at least one of them with this bad boy. You see how handy the get gun is. locks on. There's another robot. Let's try and get it from here too. We'll be able to get it when it uh, makes its patrol back. spotted by another one when I wasn't even paying attention. Well, I want to drop them all, so let me watch for the one I saw over here that took me out first. you want. Less robots. Let's get this one too. Pow. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and break into this watchtower now. Just wait for the camera to swing away and then run up on it. Same idea, just get around the corner before the alarm trips. This one's just pistol ammo on the ground level up here. Binoculars and buckshot, but it's still worth the pick to me just to shut off the cameras. I'm using my supplies more liberally just because now, with this side of the airfield clear, I'm going to go ahead and take the elevator back down and get all of the lockpicks and multi-tools I had to leave behind in the helibase. I was maxed out anyway, so I might as well use them, right? I don't think there was anything on the ground level. I do know there was one of each back here. A lockpick on the crate, a multi-tool under those pipes. I think that's as far back as anything was. Yeah, yeah it is. But... I think there was something else up here. There's, yep, there was a lockpick in that room. And... Uh, over on the other side... I don't think there was anything in here, but in the offices below, there was at least one more of each.
multi-tool in this desk, and we're already back to 20. And a lockpick in this desk. We're at 19. Not quite 20, but we're good. Alright. No more backtracking. out here. There's some goodies up in these crates, but I want to make sure the area is clear first. I think it is, but it needs to be certain. Pistol ammo, not so much. Prod charger, yes please. Alright, well there's an alarm panel there, so... That says to me there have to be some human guards around someplace. There's a human along with another robot. Here are the ladders. Nothing up here, can't reach anything either. About up here. Probably reach this crate, but I don't see anything. The main doors to the hangar are shut and won't be opening. Right, let's get back down to the ground. Need to be on the lookout for other ways up as well as goodies on the ground. I need to make sure I cover everything in this little crate maze. Can I open the back of the trucks? Yes, it takes one lockpick or an explosive. I'd rather just blow them open. <laughs> so now, if we grab a metal crate, we can get into these trucks. <laughs> this one... 12 gauge Sabo shells, that's something new. 12 gauge Sabo shells, rounds 12. A 12 gauge shotgun shell surrounding a solid core of tungsten that can punch through all but the thickest hardened steel armor at close range. However, its ballistic profile will result in minimal damage to soft targets. And I never read about the GEP gun either. Ammo loaded rockets, ammo types, rockets, WP rockets, base damage 300, clip size 1 rounds. Rate of fire single 0.5 rounds per second, reload time 2.0 seconds, recoil 1.0. Base accuracy 75%, accurate range 900 feet, max range 1500 feet, mass 50 pounds, laser sight NA, scope no, silencer NA, skill weapons heavy. The GEP gun is a relatively recent invention in the field of armaments, a portable shoulder mounted launcher that can fire rockets and laser guide them to their target with pinpoint accuracy. While suitable for high threat combat situations, it can be bulky for those agents who have not grown familiar with it. The other truck. <laughs> Tranquilizer darts and pistol ammo. The terrorist heard us. I can swear who's <laughs> I'll take that, I don't care. Security tower key, a knife, and a lockpick. Oh good, I don't have to use any more lockpicks getting into the towers. That's handy. 
not interested in his knife, but I do want to blow up the robot I saw over there. Now this terrorist buddy is down. I'll patiently wait right here for him. That's what you like to see. I'd like to finish off the crate maze before I do anything else, but to do that I need to make sure the coast is clear elsewhere, so let's take down this guy. That's him. Are you kidding me? Take him out. How did I not get the one hit there? Fascist. Alright, they're after me now. Shoot. But I have found some more Trank Darts, so... Let's just tag them both. They won't be a problem for long. I'm hit! There's one. Another security tower key. There's this buddy. That's the one I already... Whacked with the baton. There he is. Security tower key and a gas grenade. Wonderful. I think the coast should be clear now. Save the cameras at the security tower. Make my way through all the ground passageways first. Looks like that's all clear. Alright. Here are some ladders, which I think will be productive. Yes, good. Multi-tool and a lockpick, neither of which I have any actual use for. And... God! Didn't want that. There's nothing over there. This one's a little farther, so I'll use my speed enhancement. Another accuracy mod. Our uh, crossbow's maxed out, so I guess I'll put it on my pistol. Got nothing else to do with it. Alright, that's it for this. So let's tackle that last uh, security tower. Sniper rifle and binoculars, and we can turn off the cameras. Off and off. Very good. Next, 
first, let's tackle the boathouse. Because I'm pretty sure there's a terrorist out there. So let's wait until he's at this end of his patrol when he turns around. We should be able to knock him out. <clears throat> Very little trouble. As soon as he turns around. Great. That should make sure you and I won't miss any shots. I've notified the recovery team. One barrel left. We think this one may actually be on Lebedev's jet. So I don't have enough room in my inventory for the uh, flamethrower, but I got the napalm and a key to the east gate. Over here, another key to the east gate, and a data cube. Young, I've got to survey the perimeter. Reports are coming back of someone heading this way through the tunnels. Don't know what their force composition is, but it sounds bad. If I'm not back, load up the Ambrosia as soon as the boat arrives, and then head for the hangar. The east gate is locked, so get the key. I'll meet you there, Decker. So, my, uh, I got a new secondary goal. Gain access to the 747 hangar and locate the final barrel. I also got a hundred skill points for finding that one, and I'm up to 2,053. There's some things I could raise, but I'm not interested in them. There's the Ambrosia Barrel. There's some goodies out here. A multi-tool, a bioelectric cell, this combat crate. I don't think it has anything particularly great inside. No, just buckshot. I don't think there's anything else in the water. It is worth noting that that is where you pop out if you take the sewer exit from the Hella Base. So let's head over to the East Gate and keep it going. The key actually opens this panel. So I just hit a button to open the east gate. We have to get into the hangar through the barracks. So there's one last security tower over in the corner. I want to explore first. Oh, and there's a terrorist out here too. Good, I was hoping I was still... Wait, why? I was hoping I was out of camera range, but it looks like I wasn't. I may have to trank those two. So I think they're stationary. One. Buddy will be around the corner to join him any any second. I I'd wager. Oh, not just his buddy. All the guys inside the barracks too. Mm. This could be difficult. Maybe I just need to be speedier on this guy. So I can avoid getting tagged by the cameras. I should just use this as hardcover. That makes more sense. I can even stay quiet that way. that one down. Hopefully I can get to the tower and shut off the cameras. That's ah! him. He's a cop. Might be more complicated than that. Get 
out here. I'm still out of camera range. I saw somebody. Maybe I got this one. Looks like I have to handle the terrorist before I can shut off the cameras. So, let's see what we can do. JC has no mantle command, which is unfortunate. But, if I can get up here, I should be able to whack it and get back behind cover. That's him. He's a cop. Take him out. Oh, ah! Now this is what I signed on. No way. Huh? Oh, damn. Yes. They found us. I'm getting too excited. Maybe I should. Maybe I should let the camera turn away. Let's try it now. That's him. He's a cop. Okay, I've got the I've got the time. If I can just land the take him out. If I can just land the one hit knock that knockout, I'd be set. I got this one. Damn. I know if I trank him, his buddies in the barracks are gonna alert to me. Maybe not. Alright, good. Now let's shut off those stupid cameras. I've been making so much trouble. Let's do a better job than that. Let's just... Approach from out here. Finally. Turn those little buggers off. 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 Very good. Two multi-tools and a pair of binoculars. Now let's see what the terrorists had on them. Another security tower key, and another security tower key, which suggests to me I'm, I am still carrying one of those stupid knives. Well, there are dudes in the barracks, so we need to be careful in here. This dining room, there's a newspaper. Seasonal flooding minimal, APR Uni London, United Kingdom. An article recently published in the Quarterly Journal of the Royal Meteorological Society indicates that worldwide flooding from melting ice caps will be significantly less this year than in previous years due to an unusually cold winter in the Northern Hemisphere. Dr. Tammy Bride, a professor, a professor of climatology at Oxford University, led the study and noted that global tides should rise by no more than one to two meters on average in most major cities throughout North America, Europe, Russia, and East Asia. For comparison, the high water mark in New York last year was four meters, requiring millions of credits in additional spending for a network of levees and pumps. While theories concerning the significant increase in days below freezing at either pole abound, the practical upshot is that Arctic ice density has grown substantially when compared to any similar period in the last five years. There's a guy who patrols out here, and I think he, I think he does come downstairs. There's a guy standing in the kitchen too, so let's drop the kitchen guy first. Ooh. Security tower key and another knife. Nothing in here besides the guy. Let's go take down whoever's upstairs now. But it is worth noting that the three darts in the dartboard are actually 
crossbow darts. There's the guy. Let's hope he pauses. He does. Let's drop him. He's just got another security tower key. Up here there's a bathroom. I think that's everyone in here. So, let's drop the stupid knife. Let's go back downstairs first because he might have spotted it already. If we hit this brick, it opens up a secret room here behind the stairs where we can get 25 skill points, assault rifle ammo, sniper rifle ammo, a barracks dormitory key, a lock pick, crossbow, a scope, and the law, which I won't bother picking up, but I will put a scope on my get gun. So with the dormitory key, we just open it up. Now there are four chests in here, three of which are locked. Rather than use three lock picks, I'm just going to use one lamb. If you throw it right, you can blow open all four chests. And you get another lamb in the bargain, which brings me back to the maximum of ten anyway. So in this chest, there are four flares and a lamb. In this one, there are more crossbow darts. In here, we have a bioelectric cell and a multi-tool. And in the one that was unlocked to start with, we have a med kit. And a data cube. Juan asked me for the hangar code, Decker, so it's 5914. Tell Young not to get his ass shot off. You know how I feel about him. And I will kill you if something happens. Take care, Aaron. So, knowing that the hangar code is 5914, we can move into the hangar. 50 skill points awarded for getting into here. Now, believe it or not, this is a safe area. You'll hear why. You can relax, JC. I told the troops to stand down. That's right. I'm working for the NSF. I'll meet you at the 747. Excellent work. I underestimated your abilities. You work for the NSF? Listen to what I've got to say. We don't have much time. You got that right. UNATCO will have a team here in a few minutes. The Great Death is a man-made virus. Everyone up to the President is at UNATCO's mercy as long as UNATCO controls the supply of Ambrosia. You believe that? We have proof. We need to get the Ambrosia to Hong Kong. Heard of Tracer Tong? He can help us synthesize it ourselves. You better step away from the jet. Your boss is my next objective. Join us, JC. Talk to Lebedev. He can convince you. Let's talk Paul down. Get yeah. on the plane. We're almost ready to go. Blackmail of the U.S. government could not possibly escape the notice of the United Nations. Don't be so quick to trust the U.N. Are you kidding? The U.N.'s about the only chance we've got these days. If the U.S. spirals into another civil war... A pretext, nothing more. The whole project of world government, going back to the League of Nations, has been funded and manipulated mainly by wealthy bankers. Is that so? Remember that the U.N. itself was built on land donated by John D. Rockefeller. Get on board. A UNACO security squad will be here any minute. The wealthy have always been the ones to profit from one world government. More later. You better get moving. The United Nations secret goal... Well, this is David Rockefeller's description from a half a century ago. The supranational sovereignty of an intellectual elite and world bankers. The UN was founded not to end war, but to gradually dissolve national governments and replace them with a globalist meritocracy. Average people never benefit from government and business on a scale they can't even understand. Go. Go. Okay, he's done. 
let's go over here and talk to this mechanic. Hey, you the guy the Fed sent? Scanning. I have something for you. How do you know anything about the Feds? Oh, Lebedev, all his people right now, they're running around like ants thinking it's going to be a raid. Rich Bastard probably has some kind of drug deal about to happen. Anyway, filch this stuff from a guy's locker. I'm selling a recoil weapon mod for 400. I also have some shotgun shells I'll give you for 300. Not interested in any of it. Maybe later. See, let's talk to the terrorist over here. Scanning area. Hold fire. Easy. We don't want any trouble. Hope you decide to join up. Scanning area. Hurry up. The UNATCO security squad won't be far behind. Your brother makes some sense, doesn't he? Scanning area. This was our last chance to do something about the plague. We'll protect you from your UNATCO bugs. Go. Lebedev is waiting. Go. Lebedev is waiting. We're coming up on the game's first big decision. I'll describe all the possible outcomes to you once we get on the plane. Let's finish uh, clearing out the airfield first. Of course, in a non-lethal playthrough, your options are pretty limited. In fact, you only have one option. But you have three choices that I'll explain to you. Let's talk to the other terrorists. Your brother makes some sense, doesn't he? Go. Lebedev is waiting. Inside the truck, there's a data cube. Image 747 diagram. That's handy. Lower deck, cargo bay. Main deck, private bedroom, conference room, bar and bedroom. Upper deck, communication center. Alright. So. Found some rockets. See, I think it's better to carry the GEP gun than to keep picking up laws, because it takes eight spaces instead of four, but that eight spaces gives you 20 explosions instead of four spaces only giving you one. Oh, the accuracy mod. My pistols, my crossbow's maxed out. Might as well put it in the pistol. I'm very near to having all of the weapons I'm actually going to bother carrying make sure there's nothing else out here. I don't think there is. And we'll head into the hangar. Or, we're in the hangar. We'll head into the airplane. Food in here will heal me, as will the liquor, so might as well. It'll also get me temporarily drunk, which is fun to watch. See, my vision gets cloudy and bobs, but the, the beers, it'll clear away soon enough. So if we head down into the cargo bay, we will find a, a repair bot, so I'll recharge my energy, plus the last canister of Ambrosia. That's the last one. Good work. We get another hundred skill points for finding that, and it completes both the secondary goals. So let's recharge my bioelectric energy. Now here in this corner is the suspension crate. We got the code for this a long time ago. It's 9905. And this augmentation canister has... Oh, it's new. An augmentation canister teems with nanoscale mechanocarbon ROM modules suspended in the carrier serum. When injected into a compatible host subject, these modules augment an individual with extra sapient abilities. However, proper programming of augmentations must be conducted by a medical robot, otherwise terminal damage may occur. Oh, I've already read all this. I'm sorry. This one can add EMP shield or ballistic protection. Here's something to note. You get two subdermal slots, and you can add the... You get, if you get two canisters, you can add both of those augmentations. 
I don't want either of them. I want to get radar transparency and cloak so I can be invisible to both humans and robots. So, I'm just gonna toss that one out. I don't actually really need it. So let's head upstairs now before we head to the back of the plane. So I don't think there's anything back here. In the communication center, pretty sure there's pistol ammo and a key to the private quarters. Those are right here. Here's the conference room. There's an assault rifle and a newspaper. It's another copy of the Black Helicopters newspaper. And here is Lebedev. Now, our objective is to kill him. We have three choices here. We can talk to him and refuse to kill him ourselves. However, Anna Navara shows up. And if we don't kill him, it's basically guaranteed that she does as soon as we leave. So, we can kill him, we can leave him for Anna, or we can kill Anna, which will serve to save him. A non-lethal playthrough means that we go with the choice of talking to him till Anna shows up and we leave. But I'm going to, and the reactions back at headquarters are very different based on which one you do. I at least want to hear all of Lebedev's conversation, so I'll save kill Anna and finish talking to him, and then I'll reload and leave everybody alive, like I have to for non-lethal. So, let's get started. Well, let's read this data cube first. Juan, Decker let me know that Killian dropped off a canister recovered during the operation. Decker wasn't sure what it was, but he put it in a suspension crate on board the plane, coded to 9905, figured you'd know what to do with it. See you soon, Aaron. Now, let's talk to Lebedev. I surrender. What? Easy now, Agent. UNATCO has a policy against killing unarmed prisoners. We have much to learn from each other. We're assuming control of the airfield. The vaccine will be returned to the international authorities. Don't you want to hear why your brother came over to our side? He makes his own decisions. You know he wouldn't betray UNATCO without a reason. Good work. Now finish the job. He surrendered. He's an unarmed prisoner. UNATCO policy protects him. Terminate the prisoner, Agent. If you are too afraid, you are ordered to return to base on Manderley's authority. There is a helicopter waiting. So, our goals are now go to the helicopter at the airfield and assassinate Juan Ivanovich Lebedev. So, I have the command here now. Let's talk to Anna first. You are worthless if you cannot obey a simple order. This man will receive a speedy trial. I have the command here now. So, first, first, let's kill Lebedev. See what Anna says. Congratulations, Agent. You are one of us after all. I confess I had my doubts. Your helicopter is waiting at the airfield. He doesn't have anything. Now, let's kill Anna. I have the command here now. I'm worried that an explosion might kill him too, so... Maybe I should just use the pistol. Get a couple of nice headshots. Watch it. The situation has been dealt with. See, as soon as we leave the room, she kills him That anyway. is what happens to a prisoner who tries to escape. Go to the helicopter now, Agent Denton. It is waiting at the airfield. Get to the helicopter. Manderley will want to see you. I have never had this much difficulty with a trainee in my life. I have told Manderley a thousand times, augmentations do not make an agent. Get to the helicopter. Manderly will want to. Okay, so the second we leave, I have the command. Anna here now. executes him. So what I need to do is kill Anna, but 
You are worthless if you cannot obey a You want to get another easy kill. I have the command stunned. here now. Thank you. This oh, will be no, easy. She can't be stunned. The easiest thing would be to blow her up, but... I wonder if an EMP grenade will work on her. I have the command here now. Ah! Well, that works. I just want to show you what happens. Obviously. You are worthless if you cannot obey a simple order. Obviously, I can't kill Anna now, but... I guess Paul must have convinced you. All right. We're alone. If you have proof of a conspiracy, let's hear it. The question you've got to ask, I'm surprised you haven't, is the obvious one. Who am I? Who made me, and for what purpose? Yunatko has briefed me on my augmentations. Get to the point. Your parents were murdered precisely because they could have told you the correct answer to that question. That's a pretty big claim. You didn't have parents. The ones you knew were employees. You were made by a couple of technophiles so crazed for power that they would control not only governments and people, but the chemistry of our bodies as well. Your proof? You're the proof. You and Paul. When you get back to UNATCO, pay attention. Something's not right. You're really working for a group of conspirators called Majestic Twelve. You expect me to believe there's a group of people powerful enough to control the United Nations? The UN and UNATCO are just a couple of their tools. We get 200 skill points for saving Lebedev. UNATCO has already occupied the airfield. Just go through the motions and report back to Liberty Island. I can't do anything for you here. Be patient. Someone will contact you soon. If you want to find out more, you'll have to contact Tracer Tong in Hong Kong. Be patient. Someone will contact you soon. Now, for the option we're actually going with, we're just going to keep talking- I have the command here now. We're going to keep talking to Lebedev until Anna executes him. If you know something, just tell me. The question you've got to ask, I'm surprised you haven't, is the obvious one. Who am I? Who made me, and for what purpose? Unatko has briefed me on my augmentations. Get to the point. Return to base, Agent Denton. I will handle this. Your parents were murdered precisely because they could have told you the correct answer to that question. That's a pretty big claim. You didn't have parents. The ones you knew were employees. You were made by a couple of technophiles so crazed for power that they would control not only governments and people, but the chemistry of our bodies as well. Leave us, Agent. Now. You are worthless if you cannot obey a simple order. I want to see if I can save him by knocking him out. Sounds like a picture-perfect description of the NSF. Think bigger, Agent. Think global. You have disobeyed a direct order. Do you think it's an accident that the cure for the global plague is owned by a single corporation, and that it's kept so secret that only the tabloids dare print a story suggesting it exists? The supply is limited. That doesn't mean there's a conspiracy. But where does that corporation manufacture the cure? And where did your brother uncover the information that brought him over to our side? Go on. I can tell by the expression on your friend's face that she knows where I'm heading. Yonatko is completely correct to think that Tracer Tong will soon understand Ambrosia. He was the one who was going to receive the shipment. Why tell me all this? I've said nothing that Yonatko won't find on this plane's computer. But here's the secret. This is what Paul was so interested to hear from Tracer Tong. Manderly will be disappointed in your insubordination. Okay. Sounds like a... What? There we go. 
Congratulations, Agent. You are one of us after all. I confess I had my doubts. Your helicopter is waiting at the airfield. Perfect. With Lebedev unconscious, talking through, talking with him through to the end there gives you 175 skill points. We can say what we like in the paperwork. That is how it is done. Swift and quiet. Good work. Now get to the helicopter. We can say what we like in the paperwork. Well, if Anna's happy, seems she thinks I executed him. But, um... Let's say I don't know how the folks in the, uh... I don't want to leave him on the plane with Anna. Proceed to the helipad. We know your brother was here. He is gone, but we will find him. Okay, so you get 175 skill points for talking with Lebedev through to the end. If you kill Anna and save him, that bumps up to 200. All clear, sir. Let's talk to everybody. We've disabled the security grid. Agent Herman is on his way. This area is secure. I heard you got Lebedev. Way to go. There's a chopper waiting at the helipad. All clear, sir. I do have Lebedev, but he's unconscious, not dead. I'm trying to think of a good place to I hide him. I heard you got Lebedev. Way to go. The, the, the hope is I can find somewhere to drop him where There's maybe... There's a chopper waiting at the helipad. They won't Agent find Agent Herman is on him. his way. It's hard for me to think of where a good spot might be unless I backtrack a long way into the sewers. There's a chopper waiting at the helipad. This area is secure. I'll, I think I'll just leave him here with the, uh, well, not quite yet. Let's try and give him a little bit more of a chance. Got more troopers. All clear, sir. We've disabled the security grid. Agent Herman is on his way. I think a secret room is probably as good a place as any to leave Lebedev, so... I was hoping I could close it up. Very good. He ought to be okay back there. In my mind. I have no idea if... When I get back to HQ, I'm curious to see if it'll be the response set that says I killed him or let him live. We know the truth. This area is secure. When you get back to base, if you killed him, uh, Manderly is happy, uh, but Jaime, Sam, and Alex are all upset, and Anna and Gunther are happy too. Whereas if you let him live, Manderly is really mad at you, so is, so are Anna and Gunther, but Alex, Jaime, and Sam are all happy, so kind of balances out. I heard you got Lebedev. Way to go. There's a chopper waiting at the helipad. These people sound like I killed him, but it, I think it'll flip back when I get to the helipad. I hope so, anyway. Agent Herman is on his way. Lebedev's unconscious and stashed in a secret room. And I got the skill points that come from sparing him, which is nice. What's my total now? 2403. Uh, still not enough to do anything I want. There's Gunther. Let's talk to him. Manderly has assigned me the peacekeeping occupation of the airport. Standard procedure, it appears. I'm sure we can count on you. I want to be the one to execute Lebedev. Some bad news. I already took him out. Yes, of 
course. Congratulations, Agent. Hey, about my brother. A shame that we have to track down and kill one of our most advanced agents. At least we have one of you left. Don't you think we should give Paul a chance to explain himself? He's been with you, Natko, for years. Only one thing can happen when you break your oath to the Coalition. I will be truthful. I have requested the assignment of the Paul Denton assassination. Again they ignore me. Again they think they have a better punishment for a traitor than a shotgun to the head. I will do it myself even if they say to get him alive. I was the one who warned them a year ago not to trust Paul Denton. Do not make the same mistakes as your brother. The helicopter is waiting. Agent Navarra and I will handle it from here. Paul cannot hide from my infrared detectors. Do not make the same mistakes as your brother. Alright. Well, they seem to think I killed him. Well, JC is speaking as though he killed him. All clear, sir. But he's alive, I promise. I you got Lebedev. Way to go. Gunter told me about Paul. It's true. Paul's been working for the NSF. This is gonna shake up the coalition, JC. I don't know if you realized how important your brother was. The coalition will recover. I'm not so worried about the coalition. UN officials will probably get involved. You'll have to keep your head down if you're gonna come through this in one piece. Sure you're ready to head back to base? I'm ready. Let's move out. Get in. City, Liberty Island, UNATCO Headquarters. Do a real save here. Update my real save. Update my quick save. And we'll call it good. Alright, that's a section. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex. I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.